sorry guys. How you guys doing? How's your holidays going? Things are going pretty good over here, so I hope your your Christmas or your Hanukkah, your Kwanzaa's doing well, or whatever other uh, associated holiday you, you participate in. So people have been asking me about a good little stocking stuffer, and I was like, you know, it's high time we bust out the mini can. You guys know what this is. Yeah, you know. You guys love little cute things. So what this is, is a little mini can filled with Montana Black, 50 milliliters. Not a whole lot in there, but enough to get the job done on a, a little walkabout or a night out at the club, if you will. I think it's really cool. And you know what else is cool? Is you can refill these. I'll show you how to do that at the end of the video. But, uh, so what it is, it's a 50 mil spray can. Very small, very discreet. Comes with a pretty nice stock tip. I've been playing around with it. I'm thinking this might be their, um, their, their like, kind of like a universal style cap. It looks like a banana style. Very similar. It's got a really nice sharp line to it. And, um, you get about 10 to 13 tags out of this can with this cap. And it does flare a little bit, too. It's a great little combo. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna do a couple quick tags on the new wall that we built. Uh, also, we're going to do a little refill with it and then uh, do a little closeout. Real simple, real basic. Let's go over to the spot and uh, we'll do a couple quick tags. Shouldn't take that long, really. But we'll do a refill and then we'll be done with the video and I'll see you guys later. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to our little secret testing spot. This is our new location where we can test out caps, paint, try out special colors, all that funky stuff in a place where we can really stretch out our legs and see what they're all about. Anyways, so what I have here is the Montana Black Mini Can. We're going to buff out this demo we did. We did an iron-like demo last week. We're going to buff that out, and uh, we're going to do a couple quick tags. And uh, we're going to see how it works and what it looks like. All right, guys, I'll see you in a second. Passion players. My mic was off, so you're gonna lose a little commentary. Sorry, I guess I'll just speed up that part. But basically, it looks like you'll get about 12, about 12 tags. You can see I had a little one that kind of dusted out of me on the end over there. But all in all, you got about 12 to 13 pretty solid tags out of one load. Which is quite a bit of ups, actually. But here's the thing, you can refill it. That is no problem. Oh, and Zorro. Zorro, I hit you off. So now you have to buy that mop, like you said. All right, so you've dusted your little Montana black mini can. C'est la vie. I guess you just throw it away, right? Wrong. No, you don't have to throw it away. What you have now is a refillable vessel, and what we're gonna do is show you how to refill it. Now what you have here are two caps called needle caps, and you only need the straw of one of them. So take a straw off of one of the needle caps, like that. Put the other one, like this. See if I can do this with one hand here. Let me try this. There we go. All right, so now you've connected both needle caps, creating a pass-through for paint to get in there. Don't throw away the other straw. You might clog it and need it for later. All right, so there's a few ways you can do this. Um, one way is to heat up this can, the donor can, and to cool off the receiving can. Uh, what that'll do is increase the pressure of the donor can and lower the pressure of the receiving can. Um, you can do that, although I'm not gonna show you guys because some of you are very irresponsible and do things like put your cans in the oven, and also, I don't have a warm towel or a bucket of hot water, so we're just going to do it this way. And you know, the thing is so small, it shouldn't take that long to fill it up anyways. So what you want to do is go ahead and take your donor can here and your receiver, pop it on like that. All right. Make sure it's nice and seated there. Make sure everything's nice and tight. No half-stepping in this stuff. <clears throat> All right, let me, let me change the angle real quick. Hold on. Okay, make sure your connections are nice and tight. Go ahead and open up the receiver can. 
Now open up the fill can and you should see some paint start to flow through. Oh yeah, there it goes. Go ahead and just start filling that bad boy up. All right, dope, it's been about five minutes, so we're good to go. Takes a few minutes. But again, you can heat up the donor can a bit and uh, cool off the receiver to make it go a little faster. Let's go ahead and pull the cap off there. Put the stock tip on. Give it a little squirt. All right, dope, let's take it outside and see if we can do a couple quick tags with it. All right, let's do a couple quick little test tags. This is what happens when I tell myself I'm only going to do one test tag. Then I, I just go nuts. It's the way it goes. It's like Lay's potato chips. You, you can't just have one. You know what I'm saying? I do like those mini cans. Fun for rights. But anyway, let's go ahead and get out to the closeout. And I'll see you guys in a second. Well, that was a lot of fun, wasn't it? We got a chance to try out this little, little cute little guy. See what he was capable of. Put him through his paces, if you will. I'm glad we finally had a chance to sit down with this little can, see what it's capable of, and to see the basics on how to refill it. I gotta tell you, it's quite a little crusher. With a good fill, you can get about, mm, maybe about eight to 12 tags out of it, which is pretty good, I, I have to say. Uh, it's more than enough just to get a little ups. Refilling does take a bit. It took me about five minutes to get it about two thirds full, roughly. That's somewhere around there. I've already thought of a different way of doing it, by the way. I got two Iron Lac Master Blasters, and I cut the straw from the inside of a big pen and made a connector that way. It's quite good, actually. It is a little bit quicker, but I think we need to mod it further. I have an idea. We'll do that in a future video. But anyways, I just want to say thank you for watching. I really appreciate your guys' support. It's been kind of busy over the holidays here, but expect a bunch coming very soon. We'll be making a bunch of videos very soon. But I just want to say thank you for supporting us. Thank you for watching the videos. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for being a part of the Art Primo team. And remember, if you ever need anything, just give us a call. It's 206-365-4700.